All right, we're here with Jackson Harris, who just released his newest video, Come Back Down to Earth. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the song and tell us a little bit about working with Lucy Hale on the video. Well, the song is, uh, as you said, Come Back Down to Earth. It's kind of my, uh, my more mature material, if you will, and it kind of sparked this idea that I had with this conversation with a friend, talking about this girl, as most songs do, and uh, it kind of just told its own story about uh, believing in love and believing that there's a second chance to it, and if you reach hard enough and far enough, you can grab it. Um, and the music video, as you said, is starring Lucy Hale from Pretty Little Liars, and it was definitely a great day of work. She mm -hmm. is obviously beautiful, talented, and of course she had to be really cool and down to earth as well. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. She brought really great charisma to the video. She's an incredible actress. And I definitely lived like every guy's dream to have to be stuck in a car with her and having to kiss for videos. So it was a tough job, but... But somebody had to do it, right? Yeah, someone had to do it. So I, I volunteered I said I would. And now what can your uh, fans look forward to this summer from you? This summer we're going to be releasing uh, the video, the uh, behind the scenes stuff is all going to be coming out as well. We have more covers, um, starting to work with uh, a lot more YouTube artists, and then obviously big albums coming out soon. Sharks and Vampires, probably end of summer, early fall release, and hopping on a tour somewhere, and hopefully traveling the globe and meeting each and every one of your Pixie readers, and giving them a big hug and a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> cool, and now you're going to perform the song for us, right? Yeah, we're here in a little park area. We got got some uh, kids and dogs and children running around, so we're going to have fun and we're going to perform the song. First time ever outside. So there you go. Fun. Free concert, everyone. Free concert. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll intro it and then start. Give it up. I'm Jackson Harris. I got Mike and the Amazing. Spider-Man? Spider-Man. That's his name for today. AKA Gordon. I'm Jackson Harris and this is Come Back Down to Earth. Nothing but the stars, the moon, you and me, oh yeah, sharing the smiles and sunsets, silly pranks and gentle events. It's been a long time since we kissed on the tiger's head. Now all our friends are searching for diamonds. All the cliches are coming true. Sometimes you're too complex for me I would travel at the speed of light Just to have you here tonight All the cliches are coming true Sorry, my heart is so impatient when you're so in the constellations. Can you hear the song that I made for you? Oh, my message is coming through. Falling from the stars, it won't 
so much Pixie and uh, have a good day. All right, we are here with Jackson Harris who has released a number of uh, songs. A number of songs. And yes. the song you just heard was uh, Come Back Down to Earth and it's acoustic form out here in the, in the nature, in the wild. In the wild. <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg will be after you for uh, that. <laughs> that'll, that'll, he'll charge me for yeah. that. <laughs> Why don't you talk a little bit about when you first uh, discovered that you could sing and uh, how you began to pursue the career well, in singing. I think singing came from uh, Disney movies, probably. I loved The Lion King, and that was like the first movie. I actually got to see it, like my mom took me to Radio City to see it, Mickey Mouse was there. It blew my mind, and from that point on, I just wanted to sing, I just want to be king. Mm -hmm. And, you know, singing in the car, and you never know if you're good until you sing for someone else besides your mom. And it was in my sixth grade play, was Frank Sinatra sang a song, and heard applause and was like, I like that, I want some more of that. So kept singing, kept writing, and it just snowballed into writing my own songs and really establishing a sound and now having a fan base and I get to do this here with you guys, so it's awesome. And now, what are um, some of the songs, what is the type of music that you enjoy performing the most? Definitely songs that I feel like are real and connected that every person would understand and, and, and definitely feel like they can own it. My songs, I write them, I record them, I help produce them, and I want them to feel like there's a little bit of me in each song so that they believe it, and even more so that they connect to it. So I would say it's honest pop rock. Uh, if you like what Taylor Swift does, thematically, if you will, she uh, names names and takes stories from her own life and puts them out there on the record and isn't afraid for everyone to hear. And that's kind of what I'm doing, just from the guy's point of view. Mm -hmm. So it's, I would say it's honest pop rock in the vein of Maroon 5, One Republic, and a little bit of Jackson Harris. And how freeing it is, is it for you to get out there and do what you do on stage? It's awesome. It's, yeah. it's obviously, I still get nervous, still get stage fright, just like everyone. And uh, I drink a lot of water before I go on stage. And then once I'm on there, it's the, the only thing I can describe to people is like, it's like time travel. Mm -hmm. It's, I get on the stage, we do a half an hour, hour long set. I get off and I run to my manager and I'm like, how long was that? Because it felt like five minutes but it's been a half an hour, so it feels like time travel. And then usually right after I gotta meet the fans and, and just, I love it, it's like a high. And obviously the energy level, the crowd helps you. Yeah, it, it, we, we did a show earlier, Pixie was with us at Macy's and the energy was great. And then on top of that, while I'm performing, there's a fashion show going on. Mm -hmm. So that, that wasn't a bad day at the office either. So you get to see very pretty nice girls walk in very nice outfits while you're singing. So it's, again, not a, not a bad job. Not a bad gig. Yeah. Now, what can your fans look forward to this summer and where can this they find summer, your music? Uh, more music, more appearances, more tours. We're going to be traveling a lot, uh, going to California, doing some work out there with VidCon, which mm -hmm. is this big convention for YouTube. It's kind of like the Comic-Con of YouTube. So we're going to do some performance there, more covers, more collaborations, some tours, and then Sharks and Vampires is going to be the album and it's going to be filled with amazing songs like Come Back Down to Earth and I hope everyone just goes and enjoys it. And now what, what advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out? Uh, the best advice is don't uh, stop. The, the, the best advice I got was that it's very hard, it's not easy, and you're not gonna get it on the first day. And in some way that scared me, but in the best way once you get the strength and you learn your first chord or you sing your first song, you perform for the first time in front of people, you start to build up strength. It's like going to the gym and working out. You're not just gonna go lift 100 pounds, you're gonna go in and lift 10. So, best thing I could do is just practice, pick up any instrument you can, seek out people who love what you do, and don't let anyone tell you no. And where can find, uh, fans find your music? Uh, you can find my music on iTunes, you can find my music on Amazon. Basically, just type in Google and Jackson Harris, and you'll find all my stuff that you need to. Cool. Thanks so much for taking the time to do this, Thank Jackson. you so much, Pixie. You've been an amazing support and help, and I can't wait to continue to do many of these when we're playing Madison Square Garden. There you go. We'll be yeah. there. See ya.